There we go. And I want to do this. Cool. Okay. So if we have one fourth, three eighths, next we would have so one fourth, three eighths, three eighths plus one eighth equals four eighths. Can that be simplified? Yes. To what? Four eighths is the same as one half. So make sure you write down one half. Okay? So C is one half. Then if we have four eighths plus one eighth, we get five eighths. Good. Five eighths plus one eighth is six eighths. Can that be simplified? To what? Three fourths. Good. So if we have six eighths, same as three fourths, plus one eighth, that's the same as seven eighths. Good. And then 7 eighths plus 1 eighth equals? 8 eighths, which equals 1. 1. So from the needle to the edge is 1 inch. In this class, you're going to learn how to read a ruler up to an eighth of an inch increment. Okay? You're going to be really good at that. Do you still need the answers up on the board? We okay? Let's get over here so my robot gets me. Boop. There we go. All right, moving on. Okay, here we go. So this is how your machine is actually working. Did you know that? If you check this out, there's an upper thread and as your needle goes down into your machine, the bobbin is bringing up a thread which creates a loop. So that's literally what's happening in your machine is it's creating these loops. And the loops are called stitches. Isn't that cool? Does that blow your mind a little bit? Okay, so we're going to be learning how to do these interlocking stitches. I think this is such a cool graphic because it just shows you what's going on here. Okay, all right. So the first one, number one. Can you help me find the letter? What is it? It's a serger. What letter is that? Look in your word bank. P for serger. What do sergers do? Does anyone know? Yeah, it does a seam finish. That's just another way to say seam finish, okay? So it finishes a raw edge of fabric. It does four things at once. So our sergers have four threads, okay? It will sew, finish a seam, cut and cut the fabric at once. I guess it's three things. I think there's one more, but I can't remember right now. All right, serger, we got the letter. So you're writing the letter next to the picture. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, next one. This is called a what? Does anyone know? Seam ripper. Very good. What number or what letter? Uh, I. I. Letter I. Seam ripper. Your best friend, right? If you make mistakes, this is what helps us remove stitches. It's a small, sharp tool. Fun thing about this is this is a pointed edge, and that U shape inside is actually a blade. Okay, that's what we use to cut those stitches when we make a mistake. All right, next, this is used to hold fabric together. This is a spool of thread. What letter? O. o, letter O, okay. This is how your clothes stay together. If you didn't have thread, you wouldn't be wearing clothes, that's for sure, right? No, you're <laughs> like, that's weird. Okay, next, these are sharp pins used to hold fabric together temporarily. These are called what? Straight pins. Okay? Straight pins. The pins that we use will have this little plastic top of the, uh, on them. Some sewing kits come with these yucky, just straight pieces of metal. You don't want to use those because they're really difficult to remove from your fabric as you're sewing. And they're just really cheap. So, you want to get the ones they might be called quilted pins or glass top pins, okay? Those are the best kind to get. You can get them in all different colors. All right, this is a what? A pin cushion, what letter? E, pin cushion. Okay, pin cushions are actually really cool. They come in many different shapes and sizes. They can be like a little fabric pillow. They can also be a magnet. They can also fit on your wrist. I've seen pin cushions that are cactuses. I've seen a hedgehog pin cushion that like sits on your wrist. I've seen a shoe, I've seen lips. 
There's all sorts of things. The lips, it would look like it was pierced a million times. Interesting. Anyways, pin cushion. How many of you made a pin cushion in eighth grade? Anyone? Anyone still have their pin cushion? Anyone? We might, the kits we get will have a small pin cushion in it, but I'm probably going to make you, or we're probably going to make one. It'll be fast. Okay. Any guesses? A needle. What kind of needle? What? Not quite. It's a hand needle. What letter? Letter A. All right. Used to hand sew. So when you get holes on your clothing, sewing down a button, did you know the, a proper button has a shank? It does. You're like, isn't that something that they use in prison? No. A shank, the proper word or use of that is it's a thread barrier behind your button. Because we open and, like, you know when you put on your shirt and you're buttoning up your shirt? We do that many, many times. If the button is not secured with a thread behind it, then guess what? The button falls off and then you have a hole and you can see your belly and you don't want that, okay? So we will be hand sewing in this class just a little bit. You just have to learn a couple stitches. Okay, any guesses? Tape measure. Tape measure. This is used, it's a long piece of plastic or fiberglass. It has markings on it. We typically use it um, fabric on fabric patterns and on the waist of people. So this is what we'll use to measure ourselves. You will be doing some measuring to figure out your sizes because that's what we do when we sew. The coolest thing about sewing is you can make something that fits you. Did you know that there's no commercial regulation for sizes? So the size you get at Walmart will not be the same as you get at Old Navy, as you get at Hollister, as you get at Dillard's, okay? All the sizes are different because we never regulated that. When we sew, we can make something that fits your exact size, which is really cool. Okay, oh, bum bum, seam gauge. Anybody use the seam gauge? A new best friend, we'll use this quite a bit. Seam gauges are small metal rulers, okay? Used to measure areas that are smaller than six inches, okay? We will use this when we measure our straight of grain. We will use this when we measure hems and different things like that. We will use this when we make our buttonholes, okay? What letter was that, by the way? H, H as in happy, or hat, or hot dog. Oh, did we, we you know which one we skipped? We skipped four, huh? What is four if it's only used for sewing? Shears. Shears. What letter is that? K. K is in Kit Kat. Okay, so shears. We don't use those on paper. If you want to see Miss Daw, die a little. Use my shears on paper. Okay, do you know what this is? Uh, chalk. Chalk. Marking pencils are Taylor's chalk. What letter is that? N. N is in Nancy? Yes? Cool. Taylor's chalk. So this is used to make temporary markings on clothing. The ones that we have look like little lipsticks, okay? We use this to transfer markings like buttonholes, um, darts, pleats, any decorative things. We'll use Taylor's chalk. It's really great. You can also get, in one of my sewing classes, we had these uh, heat pens. And what would happen is you could mark with the heat pen and then iron it and then the markings would go away. But then if you got it, if you were outside in the cold, the markings would show up again. It was kind of funny. Anyways, what's this? A sewing machine, we know that. We talked about how they came from Switzerland, right? They're Swiss machines. Ours are not computerized, right? They're manual. It's like driving a stick shift car, right? You have to learn the different gears. <coughs> Okay, any thoughts on what this is? A map board, good. Um, I think we filled in all of your answers, not quite, almost. We've missed a couple. Okay, map board, this is used when we use a rotary cutter. Rotary cutters are your best friends, they make beautiful cuts, they make your life a lot easier. Um, they're a special mat that protect our tables. If you're using a rotary cutter and you don't use a mat, you will fear the wrath of Daw. Don't do that. Okay, the little thing on here is called a transparent ruler. Okay, used on the mat. So the mats have these little squares. They help us measure. 
um, but it helps us to cut straight lines on the fabric. Really, the rotary cutters look like pizza cutters. They're really sweet. Okay, speak of the devil, rotary cutter. Okay, used to cut fabric, looks like a pizza cutter. It's for fabric only. Don't use it on paper or your hair or your neighbor's clothes. Not cool. Okay, guesses on what this could be. Scrap fabric, you don't have to worry about this on the back. But scrap fabric, this is for extra sewing. We can also use this for stuffed animals and different things like that. Bobbin and bobbin case, very good. It's the lower spool in the sewing machine, right? It actually costs $60 now if you lose it, so don't ever put it in your pocket. All right, we have safety pins, right? Often used to thread elastic or drawstrings. If you make pajama shorts, you'll need to use a safety pin to either thread your drawstrings or the elastic through. You'll also use it if you put a drawstring through your hoodie, if you choose to make a hoodie. Okay, used to cut paper? Scissors, great, all purpose. Okay, generally used for cutting. I think there's a letter associated with this one. What letter is it? J, J is in juice. Okay, these are machine needles. Okay, they're used in our sewing machine. We, for our class, will use all purpose ones. We will, next class, we are going to learn how to replace the needles we're going to clean out the machines and take them apart. Cool? We're going to spend like the whole class in the lab. Okay, this is an iron. Okay, used to remove wrinkles, flatten seams, and creases. What letter is this? B is in Battle Scar Star Galactica. Or bat. Baby. Basketball. Bow. Okay, next we have an ironing board. What letter is that? C, C as in cookie. That's good. Oh, that's that me. Number 10. Mm hmm. The picture didn't come out very well. So it's number 10. Okay, this is something we use when we sew so that we don't burn the table and we don't burn ourselves. Pretty cool. All right, Do you, I don't know if you have this one. This is a bonus. These are pinking shears. It's used to finish the edge so it doesn't fray. So you can just use these scissors and then your fabric doesn't like make all the different little strings. Okay, <clears throat> so that's it for that side. So just a second. Boop.